a charismatic leader a brilliant businessman and a very humble human being is what describes mr mahesh mutta md and ceo of nccl india the best a man of his word and a jack of all trades mr mutta has served various oceans from construction finance public welfare to diversified dimensions and the years of his exemplary work reflects in his gentle demeanor excited to tell you that he is here with us to open up on a candid chat about businesses finances and growth mr mudda we are glad and honored to have you with us today thank you spacex community is excited and thrilled to have you on a grand jury panel for SpaceX Design Awards 2021. So, shall we start? Yes, please. Mr. Mudda, I will start with the most basic and core fiddling question. How do you think the last two years with all its hardship, considering the pandemic has shaped the construction industry? Uh, Minal, it has really impacted very badly to the industry. Mainly because the whole industry is dependent on the labor and it's completely labor oriented. And the, we all know the way things happen because nobody really re, imagined that this kind of impact is going to be there. Labors were running around, going, going back, coming uh, uh, again. So whole impact is really, really very bad, very bad. Yeah, the scenario was very bad because construction sites were on, but there were no labors to execute the work. You are so right, you are so right. Because client wanted the delivery, because contractor wanted to work, but then no labor. No so labor. you can imagine. A survey concludes that about 40% of the total population of India will move to cities by 2031. How can infrastructure agencies meet the aspirations of citizens? This is the biggest challenge uh, our industry will be facing. Our country, I mean, because uh, to be very frank, uh, we can't do that. That is the reason, you know, because we're talking about smart cities. Now I'll be uh, sharing with you, because Maharashtra's first largest smart city project has been awarded to a company. Was, uh, we hardly worked with the government agencies, but then looking at the potential and the need particularly you got to because make the city city smart and create the you know because townships instead of uh, putting that pressure onto the because you know main cities so architecture in any country is a mirror of that phase of development it is going through going by that statement which development phase do you see india is so i think now our government central government as well as state governments they have to focus on to the infra which they have been doing it massive you know budget has been allocated but implementation is still we are still lacking so we have to truly concentrate on to the development of the infra which is going to be the key success for our country and our states too so you are saying the upcoming phase will be the uh, will be the mirror or the statement for their country absolutely and which is happening because we are all there almost there hmm. it's a matter of time now so things will keep changing true true is there any piece of advice you would like to share with our viewers or our listeners and especially the participants of the spacex design awards 2021 that should uh, encourage and boost their enthusiasm uh, of course, I won't say I'll share my wisdom, but then my learnings I can say. See, because I'm a management student, I have studied uh, at uh, Water School of Management. They teach you a lot of management philosophy there. More than that, because I've been fortunate to be associated with Mr. Abbas Jazdanwala, who is 86 year old. Yes. And I must say that He's my a association. True inspiration. <laughs> yeah, and my association with his almost of 35 years. So you can imagine, he is like an institution in himself and I've learned many things. So if I were to really give in, uh, I, in my own uh, way, because I've created the uh, five attributes, I keep talking about that very often. And that applies to any individual, any organization, any family for that matter. So anywhere you go, I always keep saying that think positive first. Under any circumstances, we are so easily start criticizing anybody and everybody 
in a family we criticize on people state we criticize our any and every government politician second doing things step by step anything you do it you can't fly because you have to go by step by step so automatically you are creating a good benchmark for the future it's not that what we are doing today so always you have to think about what we can create where we leave a legacy where people will follow that whether it will be architectural but contractors is not just building buildings we are building the nation the nation that's so true. do things step by step by step third thing i said remain calm don't react because usually we all human beings we tend to react yes react because immediately immediately yeah. because don't waste time <laughs> yeah. i said take a pause because it is going to help you help others so anything we do it if we take a pause because remain calm we can really create the phenomenal you know ideas will come out of it and we can show to the world what we are fourth is concentration because anything you do without concentration i don't think any results will come it's not, not possible truly involve when you sit on drawing paper because you are yeah, an architect yeah. will understand it's not just drawing lines it's putting yourself into it your whole heart your soul involvement into that then that design will come out best otherwise cut and paste you can imagine i can like, imagine if yes. any architect draws a line it has so much of meaning absolutely and so much of thought process that goes behind just drawing one line i i can truly, truly. relate to that then yeah. fifth one the last one i always say homework i mean we all started because somebody taught us held our hand and taught us a for apple b for ball c for cat and now sometimes we feel i know that doesn't work so you have to keep learning that is where you know because why countries are progressing so you have to keep learning from all the countries in this world how they are progressing in terms of their infra the buildings their designs to the kind of decorum they follow kind of system they have kind of technology they are using otherwise will be left behind true true wow those lessons and learnings are really going to encourage and motivate over all the listeners and viewers how do you feel you know being a part of uh, one of the you know india's largest construction company nccl is india's largest construction company how does does that feel to be very frank uh, uh, it's matter of pride you know and uh, largest is again very subjective but i will say that because uh, longevity because uh, there hardly any companies have survived because the mortality rate in our industry you are aware is very high so we are celebrating our now we will be celebrating 75 75 years of our company in this industry so this That's is really phenomenal so it very easily we say because we are 75 year old company but huge huge you know efforts have been put by again i'll mention our chairman yeah. mr jasdan wala because he says 68 years of my life i given was i given my blood and sweat to this company and truly was it takes a lot to retain that so for me was it's a huge responsibility while we really enjoy we say we are different we are not contractor we are professional construction partners so being contractor because you only look after your own interest the moment you become the partner construction partner you become part of the client that is the reason today we proudly and we take pride and tell to the world that we have been working with clients for 10 years 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years it rarely happens so i'm really very because feel proud that yes i chose this at very engaged to be in a part of this uh, industry and i got the right uh, person to nurture me guide me help me support me and stand by me whenever i made mistake we all make mistakes so great feeling great feeling so now talking about uh, spacex design awards how do you think the participating in this competition is going to help students uh, you know architectural students newcomers in the fraternity and establish architects differently i must say that because this is a great opportunity you know learning is ever ending process we say as you rightly said youngsters experienced people old architects 
so end of the day because through this what is happening everybody is coming under one banner on one platform see the kind of work will be displayed there so for each and every one because elders they will see the kind of because you know change this youngsters are bringing youngsters will see the kind of experience the old people are bringing i think this is the great because species uh, design is doing uh, this, uh, through this platform and this is a great opportunity for anybody and everybody one for that matter to take the advantage of this and learn learn keep learning so as you mentioned that you know we need we'll get to see so many uh, great designs inspiring designs will they get any opportunities to work with nccl in future of course i mean <laughs> because i'll be glad because what is happening we always believe in to change change is the name of the game so that is where because ncc stands out because we always you know accept the new ideas so i'll be very glad to work with you know best of the Uh, architects who are participating from all over the world and this will be a great opportunity for us to create some sort of pride in building buildings everybody bring but the, we want to create a you know monument which will be remembered so we are done in past for the other portuguese church was which is one of the best architectural you know yeah. uh, you know uh, treasure i can say yes. uh, ocs communication building which is almost 50 years back what is done when or vishweshwara center in bangalore there are n number of those kind of casino because buildings were created all over the country so it will be great opportunity to work with best of the architects and create that kind of you know again new building which will be admired by because anybody and everybody so that's a that's a great opportunity for all the participants of spacex design awards to showcase their work and get associated with nccl india in future Thank you so much Mr Mahesh for taking out the time from your precious routine and talking to us on varied subjects. Thank you so much. Minal it's my pleasure and uh, I must say in all humility that uh, I am honored that special team thought of me as a grand jury and I'm sure is going to help me to learn many things with being on the uh, jury panel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. To learn from every experience big and small to keep venturing forward and taking along people connections and laying down the bricks for future are some of the invaluable principles Mr Mahesh Mudda stands by He has played a pivotal role in transforming the construction industry and creating a niche amalgamation of financial wisdom and business acumen through various esteemed profiles he has served over the course of his long standing journey we are honored to host him on the spacex design awards 2021